Let's do the New York Times Medium Sudoku for June 11th, 2024. I am still under the weather today, uh, so I'm going to try to go a little bit quicker than usual. I apologize for that for those still learning, but I do have a really, really useful video in the description if you haven't watched that yet. It goes over everything you need to know, and hopefully you'll be able to apply what I explained there to what I am doing in this puzzle. And if you do have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. All right, let's get started. All right, we obviously, we not obviously, uh, we always start by going band by band um, as part of this method. I'm going to start in the box with the fewest givens. So 1, 8, and 4, we're looking for duplicates. We only find a duplicate 4. We look down here to see if any 4 has helped. They don't. So we mark 4 in one of these two cells using corner marks. Finally, we do have the uh, 2, 6, and 8. We ignore the 4 because we already did it, right? So 2, 6, 8, the 6 has a buddy. This six helps a little bit, putting a six on one of these two. All right, that's it for that band. Uh, no filled box rows. This row is down to four open cells. We need a one, two, seven, nine. I'm seeing this one and this two. So I'm going to fill those out. This is two, seven, nine. Ooh, there's a seven in this box that I missed. All ah, right, and this can't be two for this box as well. Yeah, the only of one, two, seven, nine, we've got this one, we have this two, we have this seven. So those do help actually quite a bit because now where does one go in this row? One is not here. And this one says not here. So actually one is here only. And, and when we inspected the row because we were down to four, that's, that's what we found out. So one of the things we found out. Now by placing that one, now this does have a buddy one. This one looks up, lets us to place this one as well. Let's finish this row. We needed uh, two, seven, and nine. Uh, just just 279 there, but we noticed that this 29 here does not have 7 available. So actually 7 is in only one of these two cells here. And that means with this 7 looking into this box here, we can put a 7 in one of these two. Now this is a filled box row, so we should look to see if any other digits do that. So, oops, I did not mean to deselect all. So we're just going to deselect the open cells here, uh, and anything that's already marked or placed in this box. So 1, 6, 7, already marked or placed. 8 already marked or placed, 1 already marked or placed. So nothing else does that, but that's what we're scanning for. Usually you don't have to highlight everything, but you're welcome to. Just I demonstrate. All right, so this box is now down to four open cells. So we need the 2, 4, 8, 9. OK, so I think all of these are worth marking. So we have this 2 and 4. We also have this 2, 8. Ah, that's really helpful. So these can't be 2, 8. So these are only uh, 4, 9. And actually, the 9 can only go here now, in this row. Sorry, in... Uh, sorry, I'm thinking a little bit ahead about how this is a hidden 2, 8 pair. Um, you can think about this a lot of different ways. The first way is probably pretty straightforward, which is that this box needs uh, 2, 4, 8, 9. And this cell here can't be 2, 8, or 9. So this is a naked single 4. And now this cell, now we need 2, 8, 9 only for this box. And this can't be 2, 8. So this is a naked single 9. And now this can't be 4. So it's a naked single 2. Uh, sorry, not 4. Uh, we, need, uh, we need the uh, 8. This can't be 8. So that's a naked single 2. And then now we need an 8 in the box. So you can do it by naked singles. And that's perfectly valid. The way I actually saw it was this 2, 8 pair looking in means these can't be 2, 8. So there's only two places left for 2, 8 in this box. And actually, you can just see the buddy 8s, which I somehow missed. Did I miss the buddy 8s? I did. So if we'd seen these buddy 8s, I don't know how I missed that, then that places the 8 here as a hidden single. And then now the 2 looking in places the 2 as a hidden single. Now the 9 looking in places the 9 as a hidden single, and our final digit is a, sorry, not a 1, is a 4. And so you can see how we could resolve that as naked singles or as hidden singles, and they're in reverse order. And that's because naked and hidden techniques are the same technique seen in different, in kind of the opposite way. Two, two sides of the same coin. So we clean up the 2 there. This row is down. We could look for buddies, but I wanted to start with this row, which is down to 3 open cells. 3 open cells, especially with the 7s marked here, might just be indicative of something really easy to do. So kind of low-hanging fruit. So let's do that first. So we need the 3, 5, um, and 7. And this cell can't be 3, and it can't be 7, because we have the 7s here, we have the 7, 9 pair here. Either way, this can't be 3 or 7. So this can only be 5. It's a naked 5. 
And then we're left with three, seven here, but this three tells us not here. So that's a three, that's a seven. Again, you could have resolved this the other way. You could have said, where does three go in this row? Not here, not here. So that's a hidden three, and that makes a hidden seven. And then that makes the uh, the hidden, whatever this was, five. So again, the nakeds and the hiddens, you get the same result in the opposite order. Now this box is down to two uh, open cells. We need the five and the nine. I did say I was going to go faster, but <laughs> I guess I am explaining. Um, I might start going faster after this band. So we need the two, three, and six. I'm just going to, oh, this can't be three or six. So this is the naked two, and then we're left with the three, six pair. Nice. So obviously nothing more to do with this band. <laughs> it's basically done. Move on to this band here. Um, just the three is a buddy here. So we get a three in one of these two. Then we have the, the nine here. Putting the nine up here. I think that's all we get out of this band. We're probably going to get a lot out of stacks because these are almost, this box is done and these boxes are almost done. So that really affects the stack quite a bit. But we're going to get through the bands first. Nobody for the nine. Three, six, eight, just the three. So the threes look in here. We have these two threes looking down. That places the three here. I think that's all we get. All right, let's do the stacks now. So three and nine are done. We just have this one here looking down, putting a one in one of these two. Um, this column is down to four open cells. We need the four, five, six, seven. Well, this is not five or six. So this is only four, seven, I meant to center mark. Four, five, six, seven. Not, uh, these can all be any of those. So we're not gonna mark that. All right, this stack. Um, the twos look down, placing this two. Two now has a buddy here. That two looks down, putting a two in one of these two. Um, so we got the two, the threes are done. All right, the eight and the six are going to have buddies. So the sixes look in. Oh, and the eights do as well. So the, these six eights and this six helps as well. Okay, so we'll do the sixes first then. We don't need the hidden pair because these sixes all look in, placing the six. And now these eights look in, placing the eight. Now the six does have a buddy along with that six, putting a six here. Now that those sixes look down, putting a six in one of these two. Following up is very important. The eight has no follow up as far as I can tell. Um, it does, it, we do have eight in one of these two, which um, maybe you notice, maybe you don't. I don't know how, how useful that is at this moment. Um, I'm just gonna fill this triple on this pair, this triple for the column. So we need a five, seven, nine. That's not five, that's not nine. And then this pair is going to be a one and four. Okay, and that means that this is a triple. Five, seven, nine. Okay, that's not nine. And then this is a, uh, let's just think about what these are. Uh, so for the column, we need one, four, five, nine. This is not one, so this, or nine. So this is four, five only. This is not nine, so this is one, four, five. This can be any of one, four, five, nine. Okay. So I don't think we're getting more out of this. All right, let's do this stack here. So we do have two twos here. This two helps, putting a two here. Three, no, five, yes. No five over here helps, but you have a five in one of these two. Ah, so when I placed the five in one of these two, what I wanted to do was, was check this row, which we should really be penciling this row because it's down to four anyway. But I, saw, I penciled the fives here and I saw that means these aren't five. We can actually see that they aren't five, right? So I said, well, there's only two places for five left in this row. I know this can be a five, I have it marked, but this five here says not there. So actually there's only one place in this row for five, so we can place that. And that, that resolves a lot of stuff here. So let's do that, let's do that. This is one four pair, okay. So now we just got a bunch of digits. We wanna follow up on them. Nines are done, sevens. This seven looks in, this seven looks down, puts a seven in one of these two. That's gonna point down along with this seven, putting a seven in one of these three. So this is not six or seven, so what is it, right? It's not two of the digits the column needs. So this column still needs four or five, so that goes there. Um, the rest of this row, we need four, seven, eight. Let's just fill that out. All right, I was doing this stack. I don't think I finished it. Let's finish the stack, and then we can look closely at some of the other things going on here. 
So I did the two, three, and five. Yes, I did. We have this nine and this six, neither of which are helpful. Okay, so we're going to look more closely at some of these things now. First thing to look for is any rows, columns, boxes where there are reduced to four or fewer that we didn't follow up on yet. So this column, for example, needs one, two, five, and eight. This bottom one's not five, two or five, so this is only one, eight. This one's not eight, so this is one, two, five. It's not a one either. There's a one in the box. Ah, yeah. So this is two, five, eight then. I think this can be any of one, two, five, eight. Annoyingly. Um, this cell here, notice how we have so many corner marks in this box, and this cell here is none of them. So we just want to think about what it can be. It can't be one, two, three. It could be a four. It's not five, six. Uh, it, it can't be seven. There's sevens cornered in this box here. These sevens pointed down from this box, if you remember. So we have this seven looking in, this seven looking in. So the seven can't be here because it would it would remove all the places seven could be in this column, and it would remove all the places seven could be in this box. That's very bad. So it can't be seven. It can't be eight or nine. So this is a naked four. Always be suspicious of cells that are avoiding a bunch of corner marks. All right, so that makes that a seven, that a nine. We get our one four here. Let's clean this up a bit. This isn't four anymore. So four ends up over here in this row. Always good to be looking out for stuff like that. Uh, in fact, this four looking up, this four looking down does place the four here, giving us one and four. Two, five, seven, eight. Not an eight or a five. So two, seven only. In fact, this whole row is one, two, five, seven. So the one in this row actually can only go here because we have this one. So that's a one. What did that displace? A two corner mark. So now the two can only go here. Now three can only go there. Now five can only go there. Gives us the two and the seven. Gives us the eight and the five. Places the two in this box. This is now eight for the box. We get our six and our three up here as well. All right, this is a one eight pair for the column. And this is something. This is five six pair. All right, this row, we're, we're, just, we're just finishing the rows columns. In fact, this column is down to two. Let's start with that. We need two and eight here, no, not two. We need seven and eight here. This seven tells us the order. That's eight, that's seven. Gives us five, seven, six, five, one, eight. Nice. All right, now we can just play what does this box need because we're down to one box that's not marked up. So the box does need a one. That's placed. The box needs a four. That's placed, giving us seven, four, nine, seven. We need a six and a nine, and we're done. All right, cool. Uh, it seems like probably the most important step um, that you may not have done on your first pass through following my method was seeing the pointing sevens here. I did skip a little bit ahead with that. I did say I was going to go try to go a little faster on this one just because to preserve my voice. But I do think that was an important step to see. We have we had this seven looking in and this seven looking down, and that's a crossing through this one three, and that made these sevens point down. And I do recall that that was used later uh, to great effect to make this naked four. So some interesting spots in this one. Let me know how you did. And if you enjoyed this one, I'll leave a like, subscribe, and a comment below. Mm -hmm.